Colleges and universities in New York State are receiving a total of $900 million from the Federal CARES Act. Private colleges are receiving $300 million. All of this is money designed to provide financial relief in light of the COVID-19 crisis. But there are rules on how schools can use that money, as Kayla Green found out. Roberts Wesleyan College is one of many colleges around the state receiving money from the Federal CARES Act. Half of the money they receive will go directly to students and the other half can be used for anything COVID-19 related. Roberts Wesleyan College is receiving $1.3 million plus $15,000 for its seminary in federal funding. Kimberly Wiedefeld is the vice president for enrollment management at Roberts. She says 40% of undergraduate students at Roberts are Pell Grant recipients. We are still in the, de in the development process of identifying who those dollars will go to and how we will award them. But the goal is to make sure we can meet the needs of students who have had extra needs based on moving to a virtual environment. Mary Beth Labate is the president of the Commission on Independent Colleges and Universities. She says the law isn't specific on how many students should be given money or how much per student. The other half of the money goes towards COVID-related expenses. They could use it to help transition the costs incurred in transitioning to distance learning, the costs in um, incurred in cleaning their, their campuses. We're hoping that we could use it ultimately to provide more financial aid to students. The University of Rochester is receiving $6 million. A spokesperson for the college says while they are grateful for the help, it's not enough. They also say, we appreciate that some universities and healthcare systems may be better equipped to absorb their respective financial losses, but we are not, even as we continue to implement significant cost-saving actions. Labate echoes these thoughts. The money, certainly, while it's really appreciated, um, and we fought really hard to get it because our schools are in really, this is causing, wreaking havoc with uh, our school's finances, with our lives, with the in every other way, but uh, it's really just a fraction of what our schools need. Labate also says it's a challenging time for colleges as they lose money from room and board refunds, event cancellations, and adjust to the new normal of enrollment for the next semester. In Chi Lai, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. A quick note now about elementary and high school closures. The state has not yet decided whether schools will reopen after the New York State pause order expires on May 15th. If so, they'd be open for a short time. The school year ends in June. Some private schools have already announced they will extend at-home online learning through the end of the school year.